Kelly Osborne is singing the praises of Ozempic. She is proudly using Ozempic to lose weight, and she definitely is evidently more skinny than she used to be. Uh, I think that this woman also admitted to getting a gastric bypass surgery in the past for weight loss reasons. So if you're turning to Ozempic and you're turning to surgeries and sketchy pills to lose weight, you're not the type of person with the willpower to go on a diet and exercise to so get healthy. what did healthy. she say exactly? Yeah, so <laughs> here is her full quote. There are millions of ways to lose weight. Why not do it through something that isn't as boring as working out? The people who hate on it are the most or the people who hate on it the most are the people who are secretly doing it or they're pissed off that they can't afford it. I can actually tell you the reason why you should do it th through exercise because it's actually good for you mentally to get exercise. It's good for your self-confidence. It's good for a whole host of other reasons other than just the physical benefits. It actually makes you go out and do something. You always feel better after doing it. For instance, every time I go out and skate, even if I wasn't in the mood to do so, I always feel better once I'm done. Getting any amount of cortisol and getting the adrenaline going, getting your blood pressure or uh, getting your heart rate up, it's good for you. Not your blood pressure. You don't want to get your blood pressure up. I don't think that Kelly Osborne would sit here and say that exercise isn't good for you. I think that she just freely admits she's not willing to do it. Yeah. Because it's difficult. Correct. And that's the mindset that is causing all of these celebrities to go on a Zempic and lie about it because they're going to tell you like, oh, I just drank kale smoothies and went on my Peloton. But they're not going to tell you the truth, which is that they took a medication for diabetic patients and are causing a shortage of it in the market. Someone responded, pissed off they can't afford it. I've been rationing my diabetic medication for weeks because my medication is on back order because you bitches wanna be skinny. That's crazy. That's crazy that it's being allowed to be prescribed off label when it's mm -hmm. when a shortage is actually causing problems for the people who need it for its legitimate purpose. Yeah, independent pharmacies are also saying it's on back order to insurance customers and are actually saving it for non-insurance customers so they can pay full price for it, Oof. which means a bunch of crooked doctors in LA and in New York City are saving up all of the Ozempic for vain celebrities who wanna use it to throw up all their meals and lose weight because they don't have the willpower or the self-discipline to simply eat less. <laughs> They're going to instead trick their bodies into thinking that they've been gorged all the time and it, it kind of kills you i mean the the side effects for this are absolutely insane it will make you projectile vomit it ages your skin you start looking like a wax figure at madame tussauds and you might be skinny but think about the trade-offs yeah. right and another trade-off is that you uh lost your dignity there's a pic I mean, she doesn't look healthy to me but i i don't know like her, Maybe this is just what she looks like skinny yeah. and we're not used to seeing her skinny. Her face is she's, just really hollow looking. Too. She's definitely not the best at phrasing things appropriately. The most famous example of which is her saying, "Who's going? how are you going to deport all of the Hispanic people? Who's going to clean your toilets, Donald Trump? And that's still, to this day, what most people know her for. Mm -hmm. um, but... I think we also talked about Kelly Osborne recently because she said plastic surgery was on her Christmas gift wish list. Yeah. <laughs> like Santa is going to give her a BBL. Um, but in the past, it's weird. Kelly Osborne has denied rumors that she's had plastic surgery on her face. She said, I've never done anything to my face other than a couple of injections in my lips, in my jaw, and in my forehead. And Osborne has also had a gastric bypass surgery for weight loss in 2018. So what you did is you went into a surgery to staple your stomach into a smaller shape so that you would eat less because you're addicted to gorging yourself on massive amounts of food. And then you continued overeating until you gained all the weight back again. And then you found out about this miracle weight loss drug where you inject yourself with diabetic medication and you can't process 
food yeah. anymore. And her mom <laughs> had poor had a poor response to Ozempic. Her mom tried Ozempic? Yeah. Okay, so this is a Sharon Osbourne expressed Dude. regret over taking the drug Ozempic for weight loss, saying she now weighs less than 100 pounds and can't put on <sighs> weight. Uh, it says, I was injecting myself with those Zepic, Osborne said, adding, now I, I, I now weigh seven stone and can't put on weight. In British weight, a measurement, a stone is equivalent to 14 pounds. She said her husband, Ozzy, says, I look like Nancy Reagan, whose small frame was the subject of scrutiny from the media during her, husband time, her husband's time in office. She had previously talked about the experience taking the drug for weight loss in an interview with the Daily Mail last year. She warned those interested in Ozempic to be careful what you wish for. So Kelly is not taking her mom's advice. What kind of quack doctor would give a drug like this to someone who is already elderly? Like, you're essentially on death's door now. She says, I, I started Ozempic last December and I've been off of it for a while now, but uh, my warning would be don't give it to teenagers. It's just too easy. Well, of course it shouldn't be given to teenagers as well. Like, I know that Kelly Osborne, she's 39 years old. And when you are older, it's more difficult to lose weight because your metabolism is slower. But... When your metabolism slows down, it also means that you have less of an appetite. It means that you don't need to eat as much food to just live. So, I mean, everything comes with a trade-off. I think that this comment is just incredibly tone deaf, though. It's uh, it's going to hurt to the diabetics who need to get their <laughs> obviously get their med, yeah get their medication, and they can't get it. Yeah, I um I even heard that there was a rare eating disorder that affects people who already have diabetes where they just don't take their insulin and so that they can eat without processing the sugar mm -hmm. and it makes them lose weight rapidly and they essentially are killing themselves by doing this it's like extremely dangerous and who is to say what risks come with Ozempic long term? Mm. Because this is all about a short term solution. This what is an a... instant gratification culture where we want an instant reward and you're not willing to put in the simple effort of dieting and exercise. Mm. I mean, how how much I'm not saying that it's easy to lose weight, but I am calling it simple. The advice has always been the same. You just eat less and you move more. The simple thermodynamics, but for some people that's too much to ask. Also for for a lot of them it's it's just the next in a long line of problems that they've had with whether it was cocaine or methamphetamine or diet pills or Adderall or anything that suppresses your appetite as a way of preventing yourself from from gaining weight and it also now it's, it's also had a side effect in Hollywood where any actress who loses any substantial amount of weight is automatically assumed to be on Ozempic which is kind of a bummer because it's, it's kind of happening to dudes the mm -hmm. other way dudes that all get in shape they're like oh they're on TRT and HGH so all the ones who actually put in the work to get in shape naturally are like, you know. so, so then you feel like, what's even the point if I'm not going to get the credit for putting effort in and everyone's just going to say you're on Ozempic or you're on steroids. It's like when um, you might as well just go by the fake route. It's like when uh, people accused um, Nicolas Cage of having CGI abs and Ghost Rider. He's like, I'm never working out for a movie again if they're just going to accuse me of faking it. This is serious, seriously some like, medical malpractice that is not going to be addressed here there are women who are fully obsessed with plastic surgery and fully addicted to getting injections in their face they're addicted to botox mm. they're addicted to weight loss they're addicted to surgically altering their bodies and doctors who are entertaining this behavior are not going to pay the price for it which is really dangerous it's, uh, and they never do, right? No matter what uh, shortages of these. I remember there was the thing where, um, yeah, so Dr. Terry Dubrow says, uh, was like saying that there's nothing wrong with Ozempic because Jillian Michaels said that there was problems with, you know, Jillian, yeah. Jillian Michaels is. So it says, uh, Jillian Michaels gave Dr. Terry Dubrow a taste of his own medicine. This after he implored people to ignore her anti-Ozempic stance because she's merely a personal trainer. So you can get 
slandered as an anti-vaxxer and you can also get slandered as, as an anti-ozempic anti uh we got jillian michaels this is a, by the way this is an old story i just remembered it because somebody <laughs> brought up jillian michaels in the chat uh they got her on thursday who says contrary to what Dubrow believes she's actually the foremost expert when it comes to helping people lose weight and says that she shared her same view that he shared the same views of the drug not that long ago pulling up receipts for evidence Jillian cites a 2023, a July 2023 New York Post interview where the botch star, that's the doctor, uh, where sure enough, he urged the weight loss community to raise awareness of the dangers of Ozempic, saying it could cost people his life. Well, I think that the, I think that the pharmaceutical fairy showed up at his uh, office and said that there uh, might be a bonus in it for him if he just goes against that stance. I don't think that's super hard to believe. Wow. So doctors are peddling drugs to patients yep. in order to get a kickback from insurance companies that's, that's crazy. crazy that wouldn't actually that, happen they would never because they took a hippocratic oath to do no harm so i just know that that's already impossible that's what i've heard thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys